Today is September the 7th, 9-7, and our title is Ted's Chair. Ted's Chair. Okay, let's get our sketchbooks opened up here, right next to our teddy bear. We're going to move down to the next spot here, 9-7. Here we go. So what we're going to start with for this is we're going to start right around the middle of your space with a four shortened square. How you do that, if you don't remember, is to do two dots, one on each side, find the middle you're gonna go above slightly and below slightly not too far up not too far down connect those dots okay so you have what looks like a squash diamond this is going to be the base of your chair let's go ahead and bring down the sides on the left on the right these should be the same length the middle should be just a little bit longer than the other two if you're not sure if it is, go back, take your pencil, line it up with these two points right here. I can see that it's definitely longer, so I'm good. Here to here, connect. Just like that, same angle. Here to here, connect. Okay, so right now this is just the base of the chair, the seat. Okay, we need to add some legs next. So what I'd like you to do first is I'd like you to just come down a little bit, okay, let me turn it so you can see it right about here okay just bring it straight down a little bit okay same thing here come over about equal straight down and then curve the bottom okay this is one of the legs of your chair okay now what we need to do is we need to make this go back into space so just like the hands of a clock how you've got the center point and they go back at angles Okay, we're going to make an angle that is going to run into the back of this chair. Okay, it's not quite going to run into it, but it'll be close. So just draw a light line with an arrow going back as it's coming towards that. Same thing here. Okay, this is just a guideline for you. Okay, looks like I've got a little too much light. Let me fix that real quick okay that should be a little bit better for us to see so we're going to add in the other legs we're going to use this line on the bottom as a guideline for where our legs should go so we're going to go ahead and come right to about here okay in a little bit bring it straight down to the line okay and then curve it okay same thing in the back straight down straight down curve it Okay, so there's three of your legs. We need one more because it's not going to stand on three. So we're going to just peek this little one out behind. Okay, so now you can see you have four legs. Let's go ahead and erase this guideline. We don't need it anymore. Okay, as you're looking at this, you can tell that this chair is at an angle because things that go away from you, okay, this is facing towards us. These are going away. They're getting smaller. Okay, and they're going back into space. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is to make the back of the chair and then add some details. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a line here to here and we're going to curve it. Just like that. Just curve it. Do another one on the inside and then round it on the bottom. Here and here. Just like that. Okay, erase this line. We don't need this anymore. Erase this line. We don't need this anymore. Okay. So we've done that. Now we just need a few lines coming straight down into the back of the chair. Okay. Three should do it. Three or four. Okay. Watch those things that you erase. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and add the details that really make this Ted's chair. Okay, what makes this Ted's chair is the fact that Ted is a fuzzy little guy, as we see over here. So this fuzzy little guy needs himself a fuzzy little chair. So, same thing you did yesterday. If you go over the line, you don't have to erase it, because we won't see it. Okay, so if you just go ahead and get close to that, make that squiggle line all the way around. You're going to do some of that on the inside, too. Okay, I can still see a little bit of that line, so I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. I don't want to see that. Okay, so there's one fuzzy part. Let's make the rest of it fuzzy. So all the way around. Give it some fuzz. The top. The 
sides, the bottom, okay, the corner, just different directions, just like little hairs, little fuzz coming off the legs. Don't forget the legs. All the way down. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. This would be a comfortable chair, I would think. Okay, so here's our fuzzy chair. Two more details and we're done. First thing, horizon line. In the back, you got to know this chair is sitting on the ground. There's a horizon line. We also need some shading. We're going to put some here. Okay, and do you see how I'm like moving my pencil around in a real erratic manner? It's kind of going around all crazy. That's because I want it to look fuzzy too, the shadow. Okay, so I'm going to put a darker one underneath right here. A little bit down the side. Darker one underneath. A little bit going down the side. And the same thing on the last leg. A little bit down the side. So we've got shading here, 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 and here. Then we're also going to need just a little bit here on this side. And here on this side. Okay? And that should do it for today. So I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure you erase any lines or marks that you don't need. Okay, that you angle those legs back. These should be getting smaller as they go back. Don't forget the fourth one hiding back here. That you add texture by creating fur all over the chair. Don't forget your shading here, 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 here on this side and this side. And don't forget that horizon line in the back.